Today I'm going to be making something really, really yummy and really easy, and this is a simple vanilla pudding. So let's get on with the ingredients. Two and a quarter cups of milk, and I'm using 2% milk in this recipe. A half a cup of regular white sugar, that's granulated sugar. Two eggs. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. And two teaspoons of vanilla. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, I've set up, and I'm gonna take all of my cornstarch and just get it in there with my sugar. Just give it a little stir, just to combine that. That's good. I'm gonna take all of my milk and get that right in there. Okay. And then all of our mixture right into there. We're gonna give that a stir. And what I wanna do is just bring this up to a simmer. I don't want it boiling, boiling, but hot enough that we can see some steam coming off of it. Okay? So that is our sugar and our cornstarch. And the milk was cold, by the way. Okay, so that's our first step. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I am just gonna let this come up to a simmer. So I'll let that go, and I'll be back. Okay, this is about three or four minutes later, and I can feel that this mixture is starting to thicken. And one thing that I didn't mention is that when you're bringing it up to a simmer, you do want to stir this every once in a while to make sure that the, you know, the whole mixture is not burning. Now, at this point, I'm just going to remove it. And we've got the two eggs. So there's my one egg and my two eggs right there. We'll just move this over a little bit so we can see a little bit better. Okay. And I'm going to grab my whisk. And I just want to whisk this up, just like that. And then I'm just going to pour a little bit of the mixture in very slowly while I'm whisking. Now you can either use a whisk or what you can do is you can use a, an electric hand mixer. You could even use your KitchenAid if you wished. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of the, the mixture in here, constantly whipping, just like that. I don't want to have scrambled eggs. Okay, just like that, I'm going to add a little bit more, there we go, about half, okay, that's good. Now I'm going to get this back on here, and at this point I'm going to pour everything right back in, just like that. Give it a stir, I'll move this back in so we can see, there we go. Get everything out of my bowl. And now we're going to stir and stir, whisk, whisk, whisk. And we're going to do this for at least 10 minutes. I really want this to start thickening up and turning into that beautiful pudding. So I'm going to do this. You know, you don't have to stir this quickly, you can just kind of go around. Just make sure everything is constantly moving because as soon as you stop and you leave that for just a little while, it can burn. And I'm going to drop my heat down a little bit because I don't want it too hot. But I do want to get some really good heat going in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep going at this. I'm going to do this about 10 minutes and then I'll be back. All right, so I've been stirring for, oh, probably a good 10 minutes. It's nice and thick. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my vanilla and get that right in there, and then I'm gonna turn my element right off, and I'm gonna give this a nice stir, just like that. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm just gonna stir, stir, stir. That looks great. And at that point, my pudding is done. So I'm gonna remove it from the heat. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, I'm just going to move that over. I've got another bowl here, just like that. I'm going to grab a strainer, and then I'm just going to pour it right on top and strain it. Get yourself a nice spatula so that you get all of that beautiful goodness out of your pot and just get it all nice and cleaned out. 
And I'll just grab my spatula and just give it a little push just to get it out. Just clean off the bottom of your sieve because there's a lot that gets pushed through but it doesn't actually fall down. So just help it out just like that. Look at that. Oh, that smells so good. So at this point right now you can cool this in the fridge just like that or you can put it into your little serving dish which I'm going to do for just one of them just for the end of this video so just load it up and there we go that looks good just like that and I'm going to let this chill what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some plastic wrap over this if you don't do that take plastic wrap and put it over the pudding and actually touch the pudding with the plastic wrap so that you don't get a skin forming on your pudding okay I've put some plastic wrap over my pudding and I wanted to show you exactly what I meant by touch the pudding with the plastic wrap so I've taken the plastic wrap and I've actually pushed it down everywhere so it does not form a skin if you don't do that if you just put it over you know the actual top of your container you will get a skin on there so I've done that one there and I've also done one there so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time